promised Ted we wouldn't do that. Did you know there's a Pop-Tart under your fridge? No, but dibs. This is How I Met Your Mother, and this is its spinoff, How I Met Your Father. Will you marry me? It should be obvious that one of these clips works while the other feels off. When How I Met Your Mother first aired, the show's enticing premise and relatable humor were enough to kickstart its popularity. But there was an extra bit of magic that kept audiences coming back week after week. It's the absence of that magic that doomed How I Met Your Father from its very first episode. What is wrong with everyone? Before we suit up, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe to Nerdstalgic for more videos just like this one. How I Met Your Father hit Hulu on January 18th, 2022. Though it was created by Isaac Aptaker and Elizabeth Berger of This Is Us and Love, Simon Fame, How I Met Your Father only got two meager seasons before being cancelled. While the show's cancellation was unfortunate, it wasn't unexpected, and we can't really talk about why without also addressing the legendary elephant in the room. Don't say legendary, okay? You're too liberal with the word legendary. How I Met Your Mother came into the world on September 19th, 2005. Under the care of its creators Craig Thomas and Carter Bays, the show boasted a healthy nine seasons on CBS before finally coming to an end in 2014. The title of the show and the narration by Bob Saget provided an intriguing mystery for viewers. Though the quality of the seasons waxed and waned over the years, the show's popularity is difficult to overstate. It was nominated for over 70 awards and watched by millions. From the invention of the bro code to the show's many catchphrases which littered our everyday conversations during the show's run. No one could get laid wearing these. <laughs> Challenge accepted. How I Met Your Mother was a true pop culture icon. Due to its overwhelming success, it should come as no surprise that CBS wanted a spinoff. They ordered another show which was supposed to start airing almost immediately after How I Met Your Mother ended its run, but that show would never see the light of death and that's probably for the best. Red Dot means stop. For more on why the very strange How I Met Your Mother pilot failed, you can watch our video about it. The link will be in the description. Despite this early stumbling block, a totally different spinoff would eventually get the green light, a full eight years later. And without the original creators on the writing staff, that spinoff was How I Met Your Father. And while we know the tragic end of its story, we have yet to delve into the details. Starring Hilary Duff as Sophie Tompkins, How I Met Your Father followed the same plot as its predecessor. Just like Ted, Sophie was on a journey to find a loving relationship and her supporting cast of friends gets up to all kinds of hijinks. This time, however, the show's title promised a resolution that would never come. While all the building blocks that made How I Met Your Mother popular are present in the spinoff, How I Met Your Father simply couldn't meet the expectations of audiences. There are a few reasons for this, but luckily, it won't take nine seasons to explain. Yeah, is this gonna take a while? Yes. You might be tempted to say that a spinoff that so closely mirrors its predecessor was always doomed to fail. The originality of How I Met Your Mother's formula ran dry years ago and repeating it in 2022 was just a lazy, half-hearted cash grab. But while the show is definitely a cash grab, that isn't the reason for its failure. Plenty of great modern sitcoms borrow heavily from other TV shows, and those TV shows are often less than original to begin with. Even How I Met Your Mother was accused of ripping off Friends and The Wonder Years back in 2005. So I guess that decides it. Yep. Hanging out at a coffee place, not nearly as much fun as hanging out at a bar. So no, How I Met Your Father's issue isn't a rehashed premise but it's just as fundamental. While breaking ground and creating something totally new is always appreciated, it doesn't actually have much bearing on the quality or success of a sitcom. What's really important are the jokes and the people delivering them. Regrettably, How I Met Your Father struggled with both. Stacy's handwriting's in cursive. We get it, you're smart. There's an intimacy to How I Met Your Mother that the spinoff definitely tried to capitalize on. The way the show is written and its use of narration makes the audience feel like they're part of the friend group that the story reveals revolves around. While Duff and the rest of the cast did their best to bring some energy and fun to the material, many episodes of How I Met Your Father were bogged down by a lot of strangely childish jokes and slang that was dated before it even made it out of the writer's room. If I had to? Yeah. She's simping. Not only was this painfully unfunny, but it made the cast totally unlikable right out the gate. What's worst is that none of these people actually felt like friends. At least not initially. By the time we see the core cast walking the Brooklyn Bridge at the end of the first episode, we can't even be sure that these people know each other's names, let alone actually like each other. It sounded more triumphant in my head. Bizarrely, this phenomenon isn't just present in the chemistry between characters, but also between one character and her future self. 
While the 2022 version of Sophie is played by Hilary Duff, the 2050 version is played by Kim Cattrall, and they don't remotely feel like the same person. There's simultaneously a distance and also a friction between these two actors that makes the character of Sophie feel disjointed and inauthentic, which is a big deal since she's not only the protagonist, but the person in charge of keeping us interested in the show's mystery. Even in the early seasons, the cast of How I Met Your Mother always felt like real people with believable and interconnecting relationships. That chemistry carried the show when it was still struggling to find its stride. And once the show had cemented itself, the gang only got stronger with episodes like Best Burger in New York in Season 4 and The Playbook in Season 5. These types of episodes, where the entire cast is looped into a single activity or adventure, were a staple of the show in a large part due to their utility as bonding exercises. How I Met Your Father was noticeably lacking in these sorts of stories, and it suffered for it. The closest it ever got to reproducing the cast-wide chemistry of the original show was in Season 2. Episode 8, Rewardishment, sees our main characters band together to get as many tasks completed as they can in a 48-hour period. There's a kinetic and chaotic energy to the episode that lends itself well to the group dynamic, and nobody gets their task done without at least a little help from one of their friends. There are several genuinely funny bits in Rewardishment, and just as many heartfelt moments of bonding. These are especially necessary for this gang since their plotlines often feel feel totally separate from one another, which really hinders any possibility of them feeling like close friends. If the same amount of effort had gone into establishing the group dynamics and maintaining them over the course of the show, it's possible that How I Met Your Father would have been received better by audiences. Instead, there was a greater focus on bringing in cameos and planting easter eggs for nostalgic viewers who were missing the original show. Misguided cameos notwithstanding, Season 2 was a marked improvement for How I Met Your Father. Rewardishment was just a culmination of many minor but necessary tweaks. The jokes were sharper, the characters felt more grounded, and the show was finally starting to forge its own path away from How I Met Your Mother. Yet, while Season 2 showed significant promise, it wasn't enough to keep it from being cancelled. And paradoxically, one of the reasons for How I Met Your Father's early demise was, wait for it, its cancellation. As we've alluded to throughout this entire video, How I Met Your Mother didn't exactly start out as a perfect TV show. It took more than two seasons for it to truly find its place within the upper echelons of American sitcoms. It too suffered from awkward or outdated jokes. So, Ranjit, you must have done it with a Lebanese girl. Okay, that's my Barney limit. And poorly thought out episodes, but it was given the time to sort itself out. In today's age of on-demand streaming, shows are no longer afforded the luxury of time. If you're not a viral hit out the gate, there's little to no possibility of renewal. How I Met Your Father was one victim of this over-eager practice. It was struck down by Hulu before it ever had a chance to stand out on its own two feet. Was it a perfect show? No. But was it irredeemable trash? Definitely not. It's a pity that we will never know what might have been. Had How I Met Your Father been allowed to continue, it may have further explored those all-important friendships with more episodes like Rewardishment. It might have continued to hone its comedy and find a niche that worked. Or it might have crashed and burned in spectacular fashion. The point is, we don't know. Because it was never given a chance before being abruptly cancelled. And that, kids, is why How I Met Your Father failed. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video all the way through. If you're still here, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments. Would you watch another season of How I Met Your Father?